Hello everyone, Chris here with Platinum Reviews. We're here with some more Funko Fusion this time around. Hot Fuzz! Primetime Crime. Right off the bat, as soon as you exit the police station, you are going to notice a duck. Now, there is something very, very important with this level. Before you do any story whatsoever, collect everything because there are some missable stuff. Uh, there is a duck that is going to be behind the uh, mansion. If you wait till the end of the level, the mansion will blow up and the duck will not be accessible. There's also something else that we're going to be grabbing in a little bit. There's a chest that also becomes access unaccessible. Uh, over here is the vinyl tube, so go ahead and grab that. Uh, we're just collecting all the ducks right now. Uh, you'll be able to collect literally every single item in this minus the KFC bucket uh, without doing any story stuff whatsoever. So uh, as you can see, we're knocking out all the ducks. The ducks, this is a garden area. I'm gonna discuss the garden area in a minute because at the very far end of it is a area with childs that you can go ahead and burn. Uh, I didn't catch the beginning of the clip leading up to it, but I show child burning it. Uh, it's over by the garden area. So uh, you'll notice that it's a bunch of trash cans. Uh, right there is all the ducks already. So like I said, uh, very easy to collect every single collectible. The nice thing about this level too is the enemies are not attacking you. So it's not like you're having to worry about anybody, anything like that. You can collect everything at your own leisure. Uh, over here by the Swan Hotel, go ahead and shoot the three of the bells that's going to open up the fence. Uh, I don't know what I was going to call it. And then uh, you'll get the green prototype and you can go ahead and redeem it. From here, you have to be He-Man. Go ahead and destroy the golden objects. And uh, then we're going to have a quick, easy puzzle. I wouldn't even call this a puzzle. It, it's just hitting the switches to make sure they are good. Uh, go ahead and flip that switch. And every single one of these will have to be switched. I don't know why they do that with all these. Uh, some of the games will make it to where some of them don't have to get switched, stuff like that. But every single time you have to switch them. Uh, so over here is Mega Man. Talk to him. And then we're going to be bringing him over to Rush. Uh, the nice thing about the Mega Man levels is every single time you have to do a Mega Man thing, you get a new song. Uh, and this is the area that we're going to be coming back to with Childs. You'll see the red trash right there. Uh, we're going to be coming back to that. Uh, but first, we have to go ahead and turn in this red prototype. Part. So go ahead and turn that in. There's a few things in this area. The nice thing too is this area is nice and wide open. There's not really easy or it's not really hard. No, it's not too... It, it's easy to not miss anything. I don't know what words I'm trying to say. Uh, over here is the battle chest. Go ahead and destroy the enemies and grab the silver crown with that. And then from here, we are going to be burning the trash. Like I said, you need to be childs from the thing. That is going to let you burn that and then reveal a silver chest. You go ahead and open it up and you'll net yourself one of those beautiful silver crowns that I've heard so much about. All right, from here, we're going to grab a turret. Go ahead and put the turret down uh, at this location. It's going to shoot it and open the door. And then inside is going to be an amber fossil. Ooh, go ahead and grab it. I can't wait till we unlock the Jurassic Park area. That's going to be dope. Uh, from here, we're going to be doing a few different things. You have to grab a amp. So you're going to need to be somebody from Scott Pilgrim uh, or Marty McFly. And you're going to go over here and destroy all of these fire i don't know what you would call it break break glass if needed cases i guess uh so you have to be somebody who can use guitars we're going to switch it over to bass and then we're going to destroy each one of these there are four of them i don't know why they made four of these to where you were having to do the same thing but you know whatever i've i've learned not to question anything about funko fusion uh over there is going to be the third one and then for the fourth one we're going to need to build a portal so go ahead and go uh shoot this one destroy it you'll also notice a chest that is only accessible by childs we'll go ahead and grab that after we get this done now when you do uh get all these opened up they're going to reveal four separate funko switches so for those funko switches 
switches, we are going to be uh, switching our character again. Anytime I do the Funko switches, and I've brought this up on multiple videos, but anytime I do any of the Funko switches, I'm the Dilophosaurus, just because as far as I've gotten, he is the fastest one in the game. So it just kind of makes sense to uh, knock him out very, very quick and easy. So go ahead and switch over to the Dilophosaurus, and then uh, and the portal or the thing to swap over to him is in the same area as you. I got a little bit turned around in there just a bit. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and grab it, switch over to him, and then we'll be able to do all the switches. I do suggest doing the one up top first, so you don't have to worry about going through a portal. Uh, you can just jump right down, grab that one, and then run straight across, grab that, and run inside. You're going to have plenty of time to spare. Go ahead and grab the silver crown that is left over in the chest. And at this point, we are almost done. We only have a few more collectibles to go. Uh, from here, you're going to be Childs. Go ahead and burn the lock and open up the red proto part chest. Go ahead and turn it in and you'll net yourself another one of the collectibles. From here, we're going to be Allison. You're going to rumor the person and say, hey, let me play your game. But the game is a laser based game. You won't actually be able to shoot them. So uh, you'll notice the circle on them you need somebody with laser abilities i don't really like the laser stuff just because they fire erratically they're not really easy to aim depending on your character so uh yeah i'm not a really big fan of the laser stuff and it actually took me quite a while to uh get this one i think you have to hit them in a certain pattern uh i cut out the ones where i was just shooting for a while and not getting anywhere uh so the pattern that worked for me was ice cream and then a uh, plant and then teddy bear. Uh, and like I said, I'm trying to shoot the t teddy bear and it's like, no, not happening. So you have to like kind of move around. It's weird. Uh, from there, that's going to open up the silver chest. So go ahead and, and open that up and you should get net yourself another silver crown. Now we are getting right towards the end. Uh, there are only a handful more to do. Uh, from here, we are in this area. And you'll notice behind these crates is going to be a Foxo body part. Go ahead and pick that up. Now we are going to grab another one. We could have done this earlier, but uh, you need a jump pad. Go ahead and jump on top of that. And that is going to open up the last of the silver chest. Now you will need to go ahead uh, in the story to where the mansion blows up. Once it blows up, you'll be able to get the KFC bucket. And that is the last collectible in the level. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.